I normally start off by saying it's a lovely day here at Stowe Hill, but it's neither a lovely day in Norway at Stowe Hill. We're at Yelvertoft Marina near Crick in Northamptonshire. And it's a lovely spot. It's idyllic in the Northamptonshire countryside. And the reason I'm showing you this is because there is a berth available here should you wish to choose to buy this boat. She's called Yelvertoft 3. She's a cold craft built and lined 60 foot semi cruise and narrowboat. She was fitted out by Yelvertoft Marine. And she's brand new. She was launched in December 2020, just a month ago. And she's absolutely amazing, this boat. I think you'll agree with me as we go through. Really nice stern deck on her. The bow deck, the front deck and the, the rear deck are actually featured of this boat. You'll see as we go, go around. Super long well deck there, 5 foot 6. Lovely seating area around the front. The paint work, paint, paint work as you'd expect, is in very, very good condition. Nice light boat, lots of windows. The side hatch there has got windows in as well. All the windows on this boat are double glazed, by the way. So portholes forward, bus style windows towards the back of the boat. Lovely stern, it's sort of squared off slightly, which gives you a lot more room on the back deck. Super safe if you've got children and dogs with that storm cover around the back. Or wind cheat, or whatever you call it. And on we go, the stern deck itself is six feet four long. It's it's huge, lovely social space. Demountable tables fit in here for outdoor dining or socialising. There's two tables, you can have one when you're on the move or two for dining. It's up to you, really. The engine's under here, we'll have a look at that when we come back. Super side storage locker under the starboard side seat there. And in here are the gas bottles, two 13 kilos with an automatic changeover valve. There's the Morse control and the bow thruster. There's a Vitus 3 kilowatt bow thruster. And there's the view from the rear. Absolutely lovely deck. I love this arrangement. So down we go. She's reverse layout. So into the galley. The fit out on this boat is first class, I have to say. The floor is all Cardine. The worktops are uh, Mistral. Sort of composite. Feels like marble, actually. In here is a supersized cupboard. There's some cushions for the seats on the back deck. I haven't opened them because they're nicely sealed. There's the inverter. It's a 3 kilowatt Victron. Inverter charger. Lots of space in there for storing things. That's interesting. That's a little locking mechanism. The deck boards for the engine room lock. So few boats have that. When you consider the value of batteries and engines and this, that and the other. I'm surprised not more have them. Storage in the steps. And on this side of the boat, a super large cupboard. There's a hanging rail there for wet clothes and things. And that's where the demountable tables store for the rear deck. One in this cupboard, actually, and one in the other cupboard. The galley itself is 10 feet 6 inches long, so plenty of space, lots and lots of storage. There's no washing machine on board, but there are places you could put one. A couple of very good sized drawers here. The cooker itself is a Thetford Caprice Mark III. It's a four burner gas hob. And there's the grill and the ovens underneath. It goes without saying, nothing on this boat's been used. It's, it's brand new. Cupboard here. And then swinging around, it's a neat little cupboard here with five shelves in. Another one here. The fridge is an integrated 12 volt shoreline that's in here. It's got a nice box as well. It's a good size fridge, this. And the stainless steel sink has a cupboard under. Really nice layout. Very light and airy. There we go. Head height on the boat, ought to mention. It's good size, six feet six in the centre. Moving forward past this side hatch, that's got glazed doors, I think I mentioned, into the dinette area. There's one of three radiators and a towel rail there, heated by a diesel fired wood basto central heating system. There are two tables, which one stores under here, one under the cupboard next to it. Two tables in the dinette area, so you can have a single or a double. The dinette has storage underneath and converts into a spare double berth. Good solid wood, those tables. The saloon area itself is 9 feet 6 inches long. There's plenty of room in here for a sofa bed. A couple of nice comfy armchairs. Some cupboards under the starboard gunnel. 
The stove itself is a Salamander Hobbit, four kilowatt solid fuel stove and some nice shelves in the corner with a cupboard under. Nice little spotlight at the top of those shelves there that illuminate the corner. And that's the view down from the end of the saloon. Fabulous boat. All the lighting's LED, you can see them in the ceiling as you go down. There are, I did count them, how many are there? 28 ceiling recess lights. Into the bathroom, this is huge. It's uh, seven feet, six inches long. Mirror over that ceramic sink. There's a cupboard underneath it. The loo itself is a pump out. There's a 300 litre stainless steel holding tank. It's got a tank gauge, heated towel rail, and some linen shelves, and a cupboard next to the quadrant shower. So the loo has a tank gauge, as does the water tank, as does the diesel tank. Really spacious bathroom, this. Not sure I've seen a boat with a seven foot six inch bathroom before. Another radiator. The frosted glass doors on this in this bathroom are a lovely touch. They're both ends. Don't know why some people probably don't like them, but I happen to love them. And into the bedroom, nine foot six inches long. The bed itself is six foot three inches long, four feet wide. There are four drawers underneath. Good sized drawers actually. At the foot of the bed. There's a dressing mirror there over that little cupboard. The wardrobe on the port side. Lots of shelves in here with a hanging area underneath. A couple of drawers at the bottom. There's also storage under the step that leads out onto the well deck actually. Another cupboard here. And out onto this well deck, I think I said it's five feet six inches long, so very good size. Bench seat all the way around. And there's a view of the marina. So we'll have another walk back through the boat. Talk about the engine in a minute. The water tank's huge, it's 900 litres. It's under the well deck there, integral steel. It's been epoxy treated. Hot water is heated by the engine, the Webasto, or there is an immersion heater on board if you're hooked up to the landline. Bank of three domestic batteries, one starter battery and one battery for the bow thruster. 230 volts is the landline hookup, there's the inverter of course. There's lots of 230 volt sockets on this boat, including two with USB charging points. So there we go. I love her. Super boat. The engine's in here. It's a Beta Marine 43 horsepower. Squeaky clean in there, you can see. It's only 12 hours on the clock. The batteries I mentioned are on the port side there. Hospital silencer at the top of the screen and the hot water tank is under the starboard side there. I didn't mention actually there are two television aerial points on board, one in the bedroom, one in the saloon. Some nice little touches on this boat as well, actually. They've got anti-slip bits on the back and front decks for when you're getting on and off the boat. And various other bits and pieces. There she is, lovely boat. That's Yelvatov 3. For further photographs, a fully downloadable brochure and the price, go to our website, www.rugbyboats.co.uk.